I decided to build a 10 gigabit line between the garage and the house with the data center in the garage. And also 10 gigabits line from uh, this technical corner of the house to another one corner. Why data center not here, but in the garage? Uh, look at this nice corner. Yeah. So uh, you have um, natural, let's say natural cooling here. Because I don't heat my garage much. Now, as you have seen, it's the beginning of winter. We have 17 here, which is from the heat pump. And this heat pump is not enough uh, uh, at minus 30 degrees outside. So we will have about 5 here, 5 degrees Celsius plus. So it's quite good. Uh, natural cooling let's say there in the house in this room I have uh, oil heating and it's a kind of dust and it's quite warm there especially in summertime so good conditions here good place nice corner why not here we have open frame wall uh, mount rack guys we will get back to this let's now um, discuss a big picture so what uh, will be happening here not actually just here in this video uh, this is the project for the whole winter and even more so we will build we will build the nas uh, nvr um, 10 gigabits over fiber over copper twisted pair uh, microtic routers everything a lot of things guys if you know i uh, don't use scripts so i i don't know what uh, will happen exactly uh, but uh, I do nice and details time codes in the description so you can always see uh, them there and decide what you wish to watch in this video yeah we will soon cover this uh, rack mount because it was yesterday and then I provide some basic details inception how it began uh, how I digged my uh, garden etc let's see and now about the rack mount. It arrived in this uh, uh, thin box and it looks like that. And guys, that is really strong, heavy, thick material. Let's now assemble and uh, see uh, how it looks. So you can set any depth uh, if you want uh, this to be the longer one yeah, here and the longer one is uh, uh, half a meter or 20 inches uh, you screw this uh, bolts yeah three bolts because you understand these are free and when you set to the minimum one it's not here it can be actually here probably but it interfere here with uh, some equipment probably so that is the minimum one and then they offer to screw all uh six bolts for me it doesn't look logical because with that uh minimum depth you don't have uh, uh high force so it is enough to have three bolts probably here yeah because anyway with that you have only three but it's okay you you can screw uh, six of them um, so the minimum will be this 20 12 inches three uh, hundred five uh, millimeters I said the maximum one in my case I don't care what equipment will be it's okay to have uh, the longest and I set um, uh, three uh, bolts here so it looks this way well, as always, I cheated you. Not the maximum length, but two screws less. Yeah, well, I decided to figure out that, yeah, should I install it this way or this way? I decided this way. And I checked that the NAS uh, NAS will be 300, 300 millimeters. Yeah, so I got this length. Okay, it doesn't matter. So, um, about this rack is really awesome. Yeah, I have shown you this uh, two parts, how you assemble and then you assemble this side. Uh, yeah, 12 units. It is really awesome, guys. Yeah, nice stuff.
really nice stuff I install it this way uh, yeah so because I uh, this wall is not so strong I probably put another wood here well it's all doesn't matter I will just do this job and I just show you how it will look about about well guys I'm done with the rack mount and you can see I already even continue to install some equipment patch panels but it is going to be in the next episodes so if you are subscribed you will get notifications uh, and once again I want to say this is awesome rack mount very solid very strong very convenient for home garage usage well probably also for some professional usage of course and because we are uh, discussing rack mounts now uh, let me show you another one for the long one unit uh, server long or deep uh, unit that I cannot mount here so I will show you this server and how I solve the problem this nice guy very long 70 centimeters that's why you don't want to have this horizontal uh yeah and that's why this nice uh, kind of uh shelf uh three units if i remember right you can take one you can take two uh, so here is the place i have the place that is not occupied so it will be hanging there and look it is there so a lot of stuff already here uh, I didn't even fix it with uh, bolts screws uh, it's there it doesn't occupy a lot of space well because it's just wall here and the table uh, so this way quite convenient okay we've covered a topic about a couple wrecks uh, and now it's time to dig uh, well not right now it's all done already I will show you a six minutes clip of how it went uh, you will see different comments as we dig uh, put cables and blow fiber into the house this is more personal look but hey it might be interesting to someone so cables going there uh, and after that I will give you a very very useful tip let's start from digging I hate this
with this hose I marked a location of the old electrical cable. That's how I decided to make it with 15 millimeters aluminium pipe here. Yep. These are the cables that go on the ground. Let's check all of them. Cut 7 Draka cable. Uh, cut 7 another one. So this uh, power cable. one so here we have solar cables the red one and black one difficult in this operation to prepare cables so they are all put in the line through the garden and then I use this like a kind of ramp let's say and I uh, push it inside there with the use of silicone that helps me to go smooth uh, and actually I am surprised that it goes very simple and I don't even use uh, this stuff that was pre-installed in the pipe. I will keep it if I decide to put extra cable now I a little bit regret that I didn't put more cables because they are going quite well Let's go low. Stop So, do you think I put uh, the fiber between the house and the garage? Oh, well, not. No. I actually just got a free fiber offer installation uh, from the city to my house and I decided to use this moment um, uh, to set the channel uh, between the house and the garage, the one that you have seen. Uh, back then I didn't even uh, uh, think about uh, 10 uh, gigabits line um, and I didn't research on this topic much. Uh, I I was thinking, okay, I'll put uh, seven cut seven, uh, not <laughs> three cut seven, and that will be more than enough for everything. Yeah, well, well, I promise some tips. Uh, here's the first one, simple and obvious. Uh, always leave some extra cable and don't cut it too short. I run out. Yeah, for example, here, trying to crimp this one because it has fat cables and thin holes here. That's why I decided to use a patch panel uh, later after that. So uh, it's a simple, a simple tip, obvious, yeah, yeah. So and I also didn't think that cables will go this way. Okay, now about 10 gigabits, uh, more useful tip. When the time came to connect, I started uh, digging into this uh, subject and I realized that 10 gigabits of a twisted pair is expensive, uh, a lot of heat, impractical. RG45 uh, wasn't designed for such speeds, so the power budget is not designed. It's small, um, so it will heat. 
SFP plus modulus at 10 gigabits means they heat up 70 degrees Celsius or uh, 160 about foreign gates. Uh, if you read about some miracle model that works flawlessly for someone, don't believe it, guys, don't believe. Uh, you can't cheat the laws of physics. Uh, either they were not running a constant 10 gigabits a lot all the time, or it wasn't uh, truly stable. So here a million dollar <laughs> tip. If you are building a new channel, go for fiber. So, uh, for example, I have a fiber here. It's, it's 10 meters, 5 bucks. So, you can get uh, 30 meters for only 10 or 100 feet with pre-terminated ends, guys. So, uh, no splicing needed. And the models cost about uh, 10 each, uh, whereas uh, 10 gigabits RG45 models go for around 100 bucks. Uh, twisted pair, guys, is expensive, expensive and stupid. Yeah, but real issue isn't the cost, it's the inability to cool it properly, to call this as SFP plus models. Uh, so it just won't work reliable. Fiber all the way. Uh, inside the house between the rooms I will definitely use fiber, but uh, here unfortunately I have to work with what I've got. Uh, so and that's why I now check what converter I bought from Microtix, uh, um, yeah, so, and uh, e this are uh, money, again, some costs. I will try using it on one and it has a he heat sink, you can see it, um, so it's supposed to dissipate heat. On the other end, I will still use a uh, model, I will try mi uh, Microtix switch, uh, that one that I have here with the fan, yeah, noisy. But that will be another video, so su subscribe if you haven't already to see uh, will I succeed or not with this project, uh, 10 gigabits over. I will not, but at some, at some degree, and uh, because it's cool place here, and because of another end, this um, microtic, uh, um, I already forgot the name, so I will some succeed. I will succeed at some degree. So subscribe to see it in the, some of the next video. Uh, that's uh, now. Uh, th that's all for now. But uh, uh, next we will be building this NAS or NVR uh, for cameras and other things. See you.